Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Just putting together a quick video on a little issue I noticed in SolidWorks when using normal to profile. Working on a panelling uh, video and I had a surface that, that sort of spanned the centre line. I had needed to have it in one piece rather than modelling one half and mirroring over and merging it or nutting it together. And I noticed when I was, um, I used it to trim some, some extrudes and then mirrored the extrudes, there was a discrepancy between each side. So I thought, uh, how to check that was to mirror the trimming surface and I noticed you can see straight away there there's a difference in the surfaces this one's protruding through the mirror's protruding through the other one so the surface is set up pretty straightforward all the profiles and everything are set up to be symmetric uh, the side profile is mirrored over and the boundary surface is made with four profiles and the only one with the boundary condition is this normal profile here with 100% tangent influence so to have a better look at what's going on, I exported this, uh, both these surfaces, into Rhino. So I'll jump over there now and have a look. Okay, so in Rhino, I've got the render mesh up fairly high. Uh, you can see straight away something weird's going on. So this one with the orange, that's um, that's a flipped normal. That's how it imported, so I'll hide that one. And the thing that struck me first was that the surface structure is not the same with the CVs on each side, as you can see. Um, denser over here and sparser over here, which is surprising and it's not what I would expect to see. I'm just going to run a deviation analysis just to check um, to see what the difference is. Okay, I'm going to pick this surface. The input and the other one to measure against. We've made some points and now I'm just going to start reducing my um, good point tolerance here. So any point that's within one thousandth of a millimetre here will show up as dark blue. If it's outside that tolerance it will start showing up on the scale here. So as you can see I have points uh, that are over that tolerance which isn't great, that's why I was seeing issues with my trimmed, uh, trimmed extrudes. Yeah, and it's quite widespread, so it's not great. So I'll jump back to SolidWorks now. Back in SolidWorks I thought, okay, let's try doing the same thing except with a loft, because as you know, you, you, you do get different results between lofts and um, boundary blends. So I built the same thing. And the loft has a condition on this boundary normal profile. Um, left everything else as is. There's no boundary conditions on the other three. And the profiles are going in this direction. Okay, and so straight away I noticed that my mirrored surface is not showing coplanar polygons or any sort of tolerance, sort of mesh issues. So I thought, okay, this is looking better. Let's drop it into Rhino and have a look. Okay, this is the lofts in Rhino. Um, so I've shade it. Straight away, it looks better. One thing that really stood out to me is the fact that the, the surface structure is much uh, cleaner, with much less CVs. Um, so yeah, it's just must be the way SolidWorks builds the surfaces. And if I run a point analysis, and pick one surface, and then pick the other surface, and okay, so we're down ten thousandth of a millimeter already, and uh, all the points are good. So yeah, it looks like it came through fine. And that's building how you'd expect it to build. Okay, so we're down, whatever that is. Fairly small number, you're starting to see some points dropping out of tolerance, but I'm not too concerned about that. So, that got me thinking, okay, let's try something else in SolidWorks. And the last thing I did in SolidWorks was to create, um, extrude this profile out and make the surface tangent to the surface instead of normal to the profile. Okay, so tangent to face, 100%, same as before, mirrored it over, 
and like the loft I don't see my mirrored surface even though it's bright green I thought okay that's a, that's a good start so we'll jump over to uh, Rhino again have a look okay so here we are in Rhino first thing denser surface than the loft but uh, if I select both surfaces and turn the CVs on everything it looks symmetric which is which is good like a symmetric structure on either side unlike the um, using the normal profile at the top here so if I do a point deviation analysis again okay and we'll go down and start at a thousandth okay so all the points are dark blue so that means they're within my tolerance keep adding zeros Okay, so this is looking much more like the loft so this is sort of I'd say this is uh, expected behavior um, there's a bit of asymmetry sneaking in now but I'm not too worried about that again because this number's small as yeah so that's interesting so I think to take from this if you're going to use um, build a surface across the center line not mirror it and then uh, knit it later make sure you check it for symmetry if you're using normal to profile with a uh, tangent influence using the tangent influence slider otherwise I'd say to it's best to extrude out a, a ribbon surface and then make that boundary normal to uh, not normal tangent to the surface sorry especially if you're using the tangent influence or use a loft uh, but then you'll lose other um, you know control over the surface that you might have through boundary surface okay that's it for me thanks a lot Andrew Jackson AJ Design Studio see ya